How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today I'm doing a review for a little bit of an older figure, I guess. In 2021, a couple years old. Is a deceased Supergirl. No, uh, this is a, of course, the zombie versions of uh, anti life infected figures. I did a Batgirl a while back, and I'll put the link to that one down below. I had several of these. pre-ordered back then when they first were getting released and then DC dropped DC Direct and they got held in limbo for a little while then they finally got released through McFarland I believe I still need several of them I know several people that are selling them and I can get them relatively cheap it's just I haven't gotten around to doing it yet but I got her from our friends at My Nirvana Toys at Motor City, MC3. So, let's go ahead and get her out of the package and check her out. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, share all that information down below. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. And so we have her out of the box, and Supergirl looks really good. And the costume is dead on. You got a great paint apps. You see a little bit of blood splatter on her chest. Uh, the scratches on her face. I just kind of wish we would have gotten a little more of a blood splatter on her. She has it on herself, but it is what it is. So the details they have done on her are good. Let's see the blood from the scratching on her hands, her neck. Just a little bit more damage would have been nice. Weathering on the back of the cape. There's a detail on her face, the rabid look. Her head can go 360 and can go down and up. She can do a T pose. The upper arm swivel. And rotation 360. Elbows are on a double jointed. And her hands go 360 back and forth, left and right. She's got a, a little bit of a rocket there. Legs can go up that far. Can't really go back too far. So on the upper thighs. Double jointed knees. Another you know, boot cut right here on the upper thigh. And feet can go all over which direction. So, pretty basic articulation, pretty standard. I say basic, but a standard good articulation. Plastic feels good. She's not a bad looking figure, especially if you're a fan of deceased or like zombie superheroes. I mean, up until they started doing the deceased line, only Marvel had done their figures. I mean, they had the Marvel Selects, the comic book versions of the Marvel Zombies, which I've had a few in the past. That was before I started reviewing figures. And we've got a couple what if zombie characters, we have zombie Captain America, zombie Iron Man, zombie Scarlet Witch, 
So, hopefully we'll get more, and I'm definitely going to be picking up more of the deceased figures over time. So let me flip this over, and I'll be right back. I really have been liking the deceased line. The story is over. The last issue came out like a month ago. Uh, so the story has run its course. But I don't think they'll do any more deceased characters. Unless McFarlane decides to start putting out 7-inch figures of them, which that's always a possibility. Uh, like I said, I would have liked a little more of a damage detail on her. I get kind of a little bit of a blood splatter on her stomach. But still. A little more damage would be nice. I feel the Batgirl had more damage to it than... She did. But, uh... If you see these deceased figures on, on the cheaper side, I would say definitely pick them up. They're definitely worth it. If you're a fan of DC, definitely. I uh, hope you liked this video. Give me a, uh, just remember to keep in those toy aisles, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.